Welcome to Thriving Tribesmen. My name is Curry, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. I spoke to a gentleman who has been married for 15 years, and he said five of those years, they were sex- sexless. And before, everything was amazing. There was a lot of sex, there was a lot of connection, there was a lot of uh, touching, and they could not get their hands off each other. And he just wanted to, to go back to the way it was. And his question was, how do I do that? Even though it's been such a long time, he doesn't want to cheat. He doesn't want anybody else. He still wants his wife and he wants to reconnect. And I, I said, in order to explain to you what you need to do, you have to actually recognize what happened for you to end up in this situation. And really, there's something that we call the um, sexual decline mystery. And this is where when you were, when you met that person and you started dating, you started having this flood of emotions, excitement, for getting to know each other, the the you wanted to spend time together, and then all of a sudden, after you went through the date dating phase, you then went through a place where you wanted to establish whether you're in a relationship. You then established that you're in a relationship, and then you moved on to um, either buying a house or getting married, and then buying a house, and then you went, also also went on to then have children. All of that was different points within your relationship where you built up or you you were going towards something and therefore you had a common goal, which was to secure the relationship. And in each stage of securing the relationship, you were losing something from a seductive standpoint if you were not evolving your seduction to the level change. I don't know if that makes sense. So every time you were securing the relationship, you had to adapt to the next phase of what's going on. So if, you, if you're trying to seduce your partner, in other terms, if you're trying to seduce your partner the same way you did when you were dating, she's bored of it. And that's the quickest way I can say it. She's bored of it. It's, un- it's, it's uninspiring. It's unattractive. It's low value. Uh, and it's similar to the fact that, you know, um, when I was six years old, uh, I used to come from school and... There's nothing that made my life much more exciting than watching cartoons. And I would watch all these um, Tom and Jerry and all these things. And it was so, so exciting to me. And as I grew older, it just sort of faced out. I had new interest. And, I, and that's the similar thing that happens within a, in a relationship. That you have to adopt a new method. And that method is something that you can find continuously by trying new things and being spontaneous and you just and again there's a part of it where you talk about it and you know does this excite you does is this, is this exciting you explore and experiment that within that exper- experimenting and exploring you both find exciting things and i thought i would just make this video this podcast because i think many, many of the guys when they want to talk about seduction and i talk about they get confused and think I'm already doing seduction. And really, there's so much layers. And it's like what most people say, you know, there's levels to this shit when it comes to seduction. I mean, just levels. Uh, when you think about, and the reason why I can talk about this quite often is because, um, because I know some of you guys are thinking, well, <laughs> why are you talking about this? Um, within my 20s, I spent pretty much every single day approaching women, um, anywhere between sort of 50 to 60 women. And out of those, we got perfected a skill where we could literally have instant dates or what we call instant lay. Um, on average, um, we could have four different w- women per week that we could seduce to take back to our place. So that was during the day and during the night when we went to, um, to clubs and pubs. So... We perfected the skill of seduction, and when when I talk about seduction, I'm talking about really getting to ignite her primal desires. There's certain things that you need to be able to do, and you can do that often, and you can do it with different methods. There's different things that you can do altogether. Like for example, uh, we talk about seduction gap, which is a a thing that we used to use consistently and that was just for her to start to, to induce her desire in order for her to start feeling excited about feeling the gap so um when i when i was speaking to him he he actually f- figured out that there was that lack of skill of seduction and 90 time 90 percent of the time when i speak to guys they just like the skill of seduction they've not up leveled the seduction game to the 
security of the relationship. So as you secure the relationship a bit more. And again, you, you, as guys, we are in charge of the relationship. We are in charge of the access to the relationship, while the woman is in charge of the access of the sex. So therefore, there is this battle and this thing where you're, you're demonstrating your value and she's demonstrating her value. And when you give an opportunity to just demonstrate her value, uh, you then don't don't have anything to stand on because it just looks like you are the one that's pushing everything. So hopefully that's very helpful for you guys. And um, thank you very much for listening. If you want to learn more, go to the Thriving Tribesmen Facebook group where you can learn more skills on seduction so you can get better at picking up your ladies. Take care.